Thank you. I'd like to focus on the FHA program. The prior administration <coughs> uh, was in the process of implementing a 25 basis point uh, reduction in the premium. That would have saved uh, the average borrower $500 in the first year and more in high cost areas like mine. A million homeowners would have benefited and they would have saved over $27 billion. Uh, in your confirmation, uh, of course, the, uh, before you were uh, nominated, the administration s halted that plan to uh, reduce the uh, premium by 25 basis points. Uh, during your confirmation, uh, you agreed to look at that policy with the possibility of, of reinstituting that 25 basis points of decline. We also see um, that back in t until 2013, um, you stopped making premiums when you reached a loan to value ratio of 78%. You had 22% equity in the property. And at that point, it was thought you did not need uh, insurance uh, and to make insurance uh, premium payments. Um, that was reversed in, in 2013. Um, are you moving toward perhaps reducing the uh, insurance premium by 25 basis points? And are you examining uh, going back to the policy of saying once you have 22 percent equity, you don't have to make premium payments? Uh, certainly both of those things are, are under study, being looked at very carefully. Uh, I personally uh, don't want to make the commitment in terms of either one of them right now uh, because we're so close to having an FHA commissioner. Uh, but do bear in mind that we want the prices of home ownership to be as low as possible while still protecting the taxpayers. And uh, how will the recent uh, reverse mortgage changes uh, impact uh, the mutual mortgage insurance fund, the FHA insurance uh, fund? Yeah. Um, and do you expect additional uh, changes to the reverse mortgage program? Uh, when the reverse mortgage program was initiated, I, I think it was done with uh, very good intentions, uh, but without really looking down the pike. And people were taking out much larger amounts of their equity in the beginning uh, than was sustainable. And uh, this was leading to a lot of more problems than it was helping. It's also uh, resulted in a much higher default rate and that's been a big drain on the uh, MMIF. Uh, so the changes that we've made will sort of stop the bleeding in terms of new mortgages uh, or reverse mortgages. And the Ford mortgage program is doing extremely well. So we're doing some draining from the reverse mortgage, but we're doing a lot of putting into the fund from the other. So we're very close to the 2% right you. now. We obviously need to, to watch further before we I do want, it. I want to get in.